Hello and welcome to Tech 18. In this video, we are going to discuss about the checkbox options in Power Apps because it plays a major role in our application development, but it has a lot of functionality. We need to use that in a proper way to use it in a better functionality. So if you look at in this example, like I have this category and subcategory as a kind of nested hierarchy. So if you click on one checkbox here, it's adding as a temporary collections. And if I want to add multiple, then I can able to do it one by one. So what if I want to add the entire category itself? If I want to add entire component, if I click here, then all the components is going to add up here. And if I want to remove some single checkbox from here, then it has to remove from this temporary collections. And also if I want to remove the entire collections, then also I can click on here, then it's going to remove everything from here. And it's only tick these options wherever we have these temporary collections available. This checkbox is ticked. If it is not, then it is unchecked here. And also there are going to be no duplicates because if we select this one by one, it's going to require only one value. And even after that, if we click on this category, then it's going to add only those values here. It's not going to duplicate those informations. So these are the things which we are going to cover in today's topic. How to add, you can subcategory one by one, bulk using a main category and how to remove one by one or remove using main category and auto tick mark based on this main category and also about no duplicates. So this actually plays an important thing. So we'll dig into that in detail in this video. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I made about the nested collections in Power Apps. If you haven't seen that, please go and check out that video as well to get the clear understanding about how this nested function work. As today we are going to mainly focus on checkbox. So here these are the two main category and subcategory gallery and inside to that I have added only the checkboxes. So if you look at into this one, this is the gallery category and inside that I have this checkbox here which is main category and after that I have added inside to this one one more gallery and inside to this gallery we added one checkbox here which is for the subcategory okay so now for this main gallery and if you look into the items which is the main property of the gallery i directly use this one which is a table coming from sql server dim product category so we can make use of the collections as well but i have not used that here in this one so i directly consume this table here and then for the subcategory it is also coming from uh, another table, but I have applied a filter here, dim product subcategory filter this source where product category key is equal to LBL category key one underscore one dot text, which is nothing but this main gallery category key. So I want to show only the subcategory available on this particular main gallery. So that's the why we applied the filter here. Okay, for each and every gallery, the checkbox, the checkbox is basically CSK main category. And for this text, I use this, this item dot product category dot name, which is available on the table column. And now there are two major things, which is on check and uncheck. So first of all, we'll go to the lower level. How do we can add the subcategory into the collections? So, so for the subcategory also, this is a checkbox and in the I text of this one, this item dot product subcategory name I have added here. And here on this property, you have this option about on check and uncheck. So if I click on on check, what it has to do. So on check property, I just use collect, which is a collections creating the collections, temporary subcategory and result is a column name, which is a CSK subcat this checkbox name dot text the text contains inside to that and adding one more column value equal to one. This is just for my information about whether it has to show a tick mark or not. And this is just for value one. If you want to just add one column, you can just remain it just in one column. It's going to add up only one column itself. If you want to add multiple columns, then you have to use the curly bracket and the column name and the value you need to pass here with the comma separator for additional columns. Okay, so by doing this, if you click on this one, it's going to add a temporary value into this temp subcategory collections. And the same thing we had to do it for uncheck as well. So if you want to remove something from here, this is actually a challenging part. So how we need to do that is basically I'm 
clearing the collections i mean clear collect of this another collections so temp sub category is one collection and temp sub category r which is for the remove i am using it for another purpose to remove that um, so i am creating one more collections and using the same value like how we did before which is result equal to csk sub category dot text and value equal to one so basically what actually it does is i am using a clear collect here so whenever the user click on this checkbox it's actually clear whatever we have it on this temporary collections and then it's going to add a new one single record and there is no direct method that we can compare and remove from collections so that's why we use this method i am using this remove if functions in power app remove if and if i open up this one it's asking me for the collections and the condition so i'm remove if from the main collection which is temporary subcategory one and if the result which is the column name of that in filter of this temporary collections comma result dot result if both of them matches then it has to remove from that so that's the condition here so i don't want to remove everything from this collection i just want to remove only the specific which is untick here so that's how it actually does so remove if from the main collections the column name which is available on the temporary collection column name if both of them value matches then it's going to remove from that that's a good thing and the last thing what i need to do here is the default options default is basically whether it has to show the tick or not so basically what i have done here is because we need to check for two options one is if main category the csk main category is the main checkbox category if it is tick then obviously all the sub also has to tick so that's what i have mentioned here if this value is true then it has to be true if it is not then i need to look for each and every value for the temporary collections which is a temporary sub category if the result of this product name is available on that particular collections then it has to be true if it is not then it has to be false so by doing that logic i'm using the vlookup function here if vlookup if this value which is the temporary sub collections column name result is available for this particular subcategory name then the value should be 1 if it is not then it has to be 0 false true or false or 0 or 1 both of them act the same way so that's a boolean operation so this is how i did for the subcategory check boxes and now when it comes to main category there are a couple of things which we need to do here the default mode we don't need to worry about that because it's a manual user interaction they can check or uncheck these options but the check and uncheck property that plays a major role here so first we'll go with on check property of this one here what i'm going to do is basically i am clearing this temporary collections which we used for uncheck of the sub category and updating this a context which is a local variable main category i just want to take the name of this check box in a variable and then for all which is under dim product sub category table this is actually a kind of collection for this particular for example for particular category for example we are in bikes so it will just give me this list of available sub categories inside to this if you are in component then it's going to give me all these components inside to this one so for all of this one it has to collect the information in a temporary remove variable i'm adding it into remove variable because i need that and after that i need to use that in a separate two columns which is the result and the product sub category name and value equal to 1 everything is same how we are doing it since the beginning of this video and i am adding all the available sub categories within this category inside to a separate collections and after that what i do is remove if like the same logic what we applied for sub category uncheck remove if temp sub category is available on this one then it has to remove from that collections the reason why i am using this logic is basically we don't have option to remove directly compare this two collection and remove from one collections so what i am doing it here is i want to remove everything whatever we have it on the previous collections based on this new collections that's why i am using this remove if function and after that i am adding those values inside to this collection again so for example even if we have this value let me zoom out and run this one now uh for example uh if i tick here road bikes for example we have this in temporary collections and when i tick on this bikes then actually what it does behind the scene is it removes this road bikes from this collections and adds mountain road and touring bikes on a sequence order 
so that's what it actually does um, let's go back to the formula again category and on check it actually removes these collections and then it's going to add one more record series by series based on that category so this is how it works on the temporary collections for the main category and let's have a look into the uncheck so what if i want to uncheck those property so for uncheck everything remains the same if i just go check box here you see there is new no changes here only the collections i have removed from uncheck property because everything the process everything is same we need to clear the temporary collections i am taking a local variable and then i'm declaring this for all for this particular main category i need the list of available subcategories in a separate collection for all i am doing it repeated kind of loop here and then i am using the collection to store it in a temporary remove collections and after that i am removing this from the main collections so that's what it actually does so now how it works on the duplicate part right so as we are removing this collection existing before adding it into the new one so that's why the duplicates also get removed from here so previously i had similar issues where i was able to remove from this but it's actually not removing as expected so that's why i use this option about to remove first and then add it again so this is how you can able to work it out about the checkbox properties so if you have something more else uh, to explore on the checkbox in power apps or multiple checkbox options in power apps please let me know in the comment section below i'm happy to look into that in detail about it if you are new to this channel if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video